How you going everyone? Corey Baker here and welcome to Jurassic Collectibles. Today we're going to be looking at the Frush and Fro Tyrannosaurus Rex from the Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom toy line from Mattel. And this is what it's all about everyone. This toy right here is what I reckon is probably the best one of the toy line. It has got a really awesome action feature and it's the scaled Rex. So the Super Colossal T-Rex, although it's very awesome, is not in scale with the other toys. But this girl, she is. She's in scale with the other figures and she's got a very awesome thrashing action feature which makes her an awesome toy. But before we get her out of the packaging, we're gonna have a closer look at the box itself. All right, so with all the toys, we have the background picture of the volcano exploding. We, on the top left, we have the Jurassic World logo. Doesn't say Fallen Kingdom, just says Jurassic World. Going down to the bottom left, we have a picture of Blue and Owen, looking awesome in the corner there. We have the title of the toy, Fresh and Fro Tyrannosaurus Rex. And at the bottom right, we have a bit of a detailed picture showing us what it can do. And it is looking it to be a very fun and awesome toy. Okay, next thing to do is turning it around. Oh, making a noise. And here is the back of the box. So, move tail for thrashing and throwing. So we got a little bit of detailed pictures here showing us what to do. And it looks like this uh, toy can pick up other dinosaurs. Also, we have stomping sounds and biting sounds as well. So it makes a noise and it's got a cool action feature. So it's very awesome indeed. Up here we have a reminder that we have a Jurassic Facts app uh, QR code on the bottom of the foot of this dinosaur. On the bottom left we have some dinosaurs displayed here. Now these are the ones you can get from the blind bags. It's a little mini action pack dinos that you can get. Uh, I do open a pack on my channel if you guys would like to check out that. And you can still see the T-Rex from the back of the box as well, poking your head out. Alright guys, I can't wait any longer. I'm going to get this girl out of her packaging. Here she is, out of the box, in all her glory. So here is the Fresh and Fro Tyrannosaurus Rex. And as you can see, she looks like a very nice Tyrannosaurus Rex. So Mattel's done very nicely with all the sculpts of this toy line. And obviously this one's no exception, like I was saying before. This Tyrannosaurus Rex is in scale with all the other toys, so this is the one you really want to pick up if you want to play with the other um, figures from the toy line. Because the Super Colossal Rex is ginormous and uh, just too big uh, to go next to the other ones, so not in scale with the other toys. This girl is uh, very nicely indeed, so here she is. Now, she does have sounds, you can see that she's got a, a stomping noise, which goes up like almost every two seconds. Uh, she's not that, or at least my one isn't, not that stable on the feet. She's a little bit wobbly, and sometimes she falls down. But that's okay, we'll see uh, how that goes later on. But now we're gonna have a close look at the T-Rex itself. All right, so having a close look, now she's got a lovely paint job, this one. This one, I think, has a better paint job than the Super Colossal Rex. Uh, they put a little bit more effort into this one, I reckon, and they've got a lovely yellow eye. The eye looks so nice. Looks just like a Jurassic Park T-Rex. She's got no nice teeth. She's got a nice pinkish, kind of like, almost like a, they try to do a, like a, a sort of a wet look for the, for the tongue. Look inside here. Does, do, does go down quite deep in there. So she can double up little dinosaurs. Now here we go, coming up closer. Now here's one of the grooves, so she does have a thrashing motion. So she, that's part, of this part where she moves her neck. Coming down further, we've got our, our two little T-Rex hands. Here she is. Now you can move them back and forth. And they, they're quite soft. They actually feel really soft plastic. Almost like a real feel kind of plastic. Alright, so she's got a few scars all over the place from the Dominus Rex battles to uh, Velociraptor battles from the first movie. And we've got a darker brown on top. 
with a light brown all over the body. And when you go to around to the bottom, we have the really creamy brown there, creamy color there. Here we have the batteries, where they go, and then that's where the sound comes from. So here on this side, we have the bottom of the foot. We have the Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom little stamp. Make sure you know that this is a Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom toy. And on this side, we have the QR code for the Jurassic Facts app. And interesting enough, this is also the button to press to hear the thumping noise. There you go. You can do it very fast. And that's the button that uh, she steps on to make the noise. All right, coming over here, this is the tail end. Now this is the tail that you use to uh, activate the action feature, which we'll be looking at later. And it's pretty much just a basic, basic paint scheme, but works quite nicely. But basically, with all the, like I was saying, with all the uh, Mattel Fallen Kingdom toys, the sculpts is what makes the toy great. And there's no mistaking that. That is a beautiful Jurassic Park T-Rex right there, guys. Okay, on the other side now, she's got quite a lot of scars on this side, all over her face. So more scars on this side. And a few scars there, a few scars on this bit. Got the two, two little arms. And yeah, here we go. That's a really nice looking Jurassic Park T-Rex. There she goes. All right, we're gonna have a look at the sounds and action features now. Okay, so here's the action feature. Like I was saying, the button's on the bottom there. Each time you stamp on it, she's walking. Yeah, yeah, it's very cool. And it's a very sensitive button. Now, it does actually kind of rise here, and it does make her standing sometimes a little bit hard. But uh, it's very sensitive, and so every single time you gonna stamp a foot, it does actually go off, even though the button is only on the left foot. So that's pretty cool. Now let's get on to the other bit. So here is the action feature. There's two things you can do. Actually, no, three things. First thing you can do. And let me get in good positions. All right, first thing you can do, guys. Quiet, quiet down. Is do the flashing motion with her her head and that kind of makes like a, a flashing whoosh sound there we go now next next up is the where she almost like bites so she can bite up another toy which we'll be testing out soon but she go you just push up on the tail and then she goes and grabs on Third, but not least, the last but not least, we have the epic roar. So you push it down. Very cool. Now that in, on my toy, on my Pacific model, is quite hard to do. It's very hard, very stiff. But with wear, the more you do it, the easier it will become, I think. And at the same time, you can also thrash the head back and forth. And she gives off the iconic Jurassic Park T-Rex roar as well. There we go. Okay, it's time to see just how big the Thrash and, tr thrash and Throw Tyrannosaurus Rex is. And coming down here with the tape measure, we are going from the tip of the tail to the end of the nose, around 22 inches or 56 centimeters long. Pretty, pretty decent. And height-wise, we're looking at seven and a half inches, or 19 centimeters high. Okay, you know what time it is? It is size comparison time. So here we have the Kenner Ellen Grant from the very first Jurassic Park toy line. Doesn't scale up too badly, um, although he is quite big, and this is scaled for smaller figures but looks quite nice, nonetheless. You can definitely see Alan Grant 
being that size compared to the Tyrannosaurus. Here we have the Jurassic Park 3 Alan Grant. As you see, this is the, the one we want to pay attention to because this is how big the humans are going to be from this line. They might even be a little bit smaller. I haven't actually seen them yet, but they're about probably about this size. And we'll test out the T-Rex's biting action. Okay, next up we're gonna look at, we've got uh, one of the Velociraptor from the attack packs, the green one. All right, so we got the Roarivore Triceratops. Triceratops looks a little bit, a little bit too small to my opinion. Triceratops should be a little bit bigger, but doesn't scale up that badly. Looks, still pretty, looks pretty good compared to T-Rex. And then we have Another Roarivore here, we've got the Allosaurus. So that, that scales up quite nicely. It's about how big a Allosaurus would be compared to Tyrannosaurus. This is a one you got to pay attention to. Here we have the Carnotaurus. So you can see the Carnotaurus is kind of almost too big. Compared to what we see on the trailer, the Carnotaurus scales up pretty big still. But you can see Rexy is still bashing around. Okay, and here is a very special size comparison. Here we have the iconic Red Rex from Kenner. And as you can see, turning around here, both pretty much the same size lengthwise, but the Fresh and Fro isn't as tall as the Red Rex. And special thing to notice is this one has the same play feature as this one. They both used to make, this one doesn't have batteries in it, both had stomping, stomping sounds. So you can see the Mattel definitely looked back at what Kenner did to inspire them to make the new toy line. But last but not least, we have the massive, huge, super colossal Tyrannosaurus Rex coming in behind here. And you can see, absolutely dwarfs the Fresh and Fro. And you can see what I was meaning about the, the, the scaling is all wrong. Scaling's really nice with the Fresh and Fro, but simply just too big, this one at the back. But pretty awesome toy, nonetheless. So there we have it guys. In my opinion, the Fresh and Fro is probably the best toy in the toy line from Mattel for Fallen Kingdom. It really just shows us how far we've come when it comes to how good toys can be from the toy line, uh, from the Jurassic Park toy lines. Hasbro absolutely almost destroyed it. They sucked so much. But now we've got this, toys like this will make kids very happy. Play features like that. Kids will be there happy with this toy, I reckon. And I think it's probably the best one we actually have from the toy line from Mattel. I think this is very, very awesome. Scales up really nicely, the other ones, and all around, I think this is my favourite toy. And the one I really did want to pick up from the very start when I saw it. So, in my opinion, the Fresh and Furry's got to be one of the best ones. Really nice, really nice paint job as well. When you're looking at it, it's got some really nice uh, shading as well. All around an awesome toy. Anyway guys, thanks very much. Hope you've enjoyed my Fallen Kingdom reviews on Jurassic Collectibles. And thank you very much for Jurassic Collectibles for inviting me to review the toys. And sending me quite a few of them in the beginning as well. Anyway guys, what do you reckon of the Fresh and Fro? I think it's awesome. And remember, as always, like, comment and subscribe to Jurassic Collectibles. To, for, for, every, for everything Jurassic Park related and Jurassic World related coming up very soon. Also, if you want to come and check out what I'm doing on my channel, links in the, in the description below to my channel if you want to come and see what I'm doing. I'm doing a few Jurassic Park related stuff all the time and many more videos coming as well. Anyway guys, thanks for watching and remember, subscribe to Jurassic Collectibles. See you later.